Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, after this snowstorm that we had over the past couple of days, we have gotten inundated with wonderful pictures, all from our great listeners out there. And I didn't have time last night to get to them all, so I want to show, share some more that we got in. This is from Julie that sent us this snow up halfway up her garage in Harvey. Look at the basketball hoop there. You, it'd be pretty easy to dunk with all that snow there if you're light enough to stand on that snow. Meanwhile, this is up near Lake Metagoshi. You can see the snow covering the cars. I think somewhere under that snow is a Jeep out there. Another great picture. This is from Cheryl in Botno there. You can see the snow covering her back deck. Lots of snowfall from this storm as some places saw two feet. Now, I want to talk about all of the snow that we have because it's impressive. So far this season, 16.9 inches of snow, well above the normal. We have had some years in the past where we haven't had any snow. Now, in the past, the most snow has been 5.8 inches. That was the old record set back in 1898 and 1899. But now this is the new champion. Whatever we have that falls from the sky, this winter is the new norm for the uh, record books here. And then at this point last year, just under a half inch of snow. So we are way, way ahead of the snowfall for this winter. Right now, no snowfall, thankfully. Lots of clear skies out there on the satellite radar picture. You can see just some high clouds off toward the north and the west out there. Temperatures right now are chilly because of that snowpack. Most places in the lower 30s, like in the capital city. Good evening to the Minot area. You're also at 33, 27 in Watford City. Williston, they don't have any snow on the ground. It's warmer there. They have more sunshine. That's why you're at a temperature of 42 degrees, 39 to the southwest in Bowman. Wind's not a big deal tonight. Just out of the southwest at three miles an hour which means wind chills are not too bad of an issue. Most places not dealing with uh, any bad wind chills out there. But we do have some more precipitation on the way here. You can see with Precision Cast, we're going to have a clipper roll through late tomorrow night and throughout the early morning hours of Tuesday. I think this looks a lot more impressive than it's actually going to be. It will uh, stick around for the early portion of Tuesday and then get out of here so that the rest of Tuesday is left with some clear skies. In terms of snowfall, I don't think much. Just a trace to an inch where you see this uh, light colored blue. Maybe to the northwest of the Magic City, somebody sees a fresh inch of snow, but really nothing too bad out there. So your forecast on a chilly one for the capital city 19 degrees those areas that do have the snow on the ground with those southwesterly winds it's going to create a little bit of fog out there so some patchy fog in the bismarck area as well as in the magic city if you don't have any snow on the ground just a nice clear quiet night but 21 in the magic city an unseasonably cold night tonight here's a look at lows tonight you can see those lows mostly in the upper teens and lower 20s for uh, late uh, mid-october that is about 15 degrees below the average and here's your three-day forecast for the Williston area. A little bit of rain as that clipper moves through for Tuesday. And then windy on Tuesday and sunshine returns. Warmer temperatures for your Wednesday up near 60. Th same thing for the Dickinson area. Clouds thinning on Tuesday. Sun and clouds return up near 60 again on Friday. Highs tomorrow, a nice day with lots of sunshine. 38 in the capital city. 52 out to the west where they don't have any snowfall. And here's your extended forecast for the Bismarck area. A happy Columbus Day to everybody out there. Lots of sunshine but maybe a little bit of morning fog. Same for Wednesday, some morning fog, and then some rain possible by next weekend. But warmer temperatures, as you see here, for the Magic City. So aiding in that snow melt, Renee. But the thing I'm worried about is flooding with that snow melt. May have to speak with our friends at the National Weather Service this week. Absolutely. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Coming up next in sports, the weather delayed you Mary's homecoming. But would they get their first win? Find out after the break.